Hello and welcome to a video tutorial on how to use the free screen recorder from Acesinger. What you will need to do first is go to acesinger.com forward slash free hyphen screen hyphen recorder which will bring you to this page. There's a number of reasons why you'd want to record your screen. Maybe there's some activity on there where you want to show your friends a tutorial or maybe there's a, a webinar or a podcast that you want to record to watch at a later date. Maybe when you won't have the internet or on a different device. But that, as I said, there's a number of reasons why you'd want to do it. Once you're on this page, click on the Start button here and open the AirPowerSoft Launcher online. And as you can see here, it's launching the application and it gives you an option to record different parts of your screen. The first thing that I would recommend doing is checking the settings. Click on the Recording tab and make sure your audio quality is high and you've set the bit rate and the frame rate to what you want. Um, under mode you can also set it for performance or quality. For here I've got it set as quality to get the best recording possible. Once you've done this you will then need to find where you want to record and drag this box to whichever part of the screen you wish to record. Once you've done this and you've created your settings click on the record tab and it will bring you to are you ready click OK it will give you a countdown and as you can see it's now recording uh, there's a number of things you can do as well you can use this tool here to annotate the drawing and you can also if you have a webcam uh, record your webcam at the same time this is great for things like uh, video tutorials if you wish to show people how to use certain things um, you can also set it so you've got your microphone active so you can hear your voice as well and with this bar here you can pause the recording at any time and go back to it once you have finished your recording click on pause and if you're happy with it press the check mark and it will and as you can see bring the recording up here with this you can click on save and you can either save it as a video file save it as a GIF and um, you can edit the video file with some basic editing functions or you can also upload it directly to YouTube, Vimeo, Google Drive or Dropbox so it gives you a number of options on how you want to save the file if you just want to save the video file you can select the format you wish to save it into uh, decide where you want which folder you want to save it in and give it a name and just click save and as you can see here it is downloading it for you. Once that's done, click done and you will then have your recorded screen.